Businesses that have adopted RPA see more benefits other than time and cost savings, such as reducing errors, increasing speed of service, reducing queues and creating scalability. With such savings, it may seem practical to reduce the workforce, but savvy businesses redeploy or upskill existing staff. Staff have real business value, with immense knowledge of the business process, clients and the industry. And the worst mistake a business can make is to remove staff only to rehire new staff months later, after the business has grown or taken on new clients. This leads to the added cost of retraining new hires that have less domain knowledge. Process automation is a world of massive potential. Google, Uber and Deliveroo have automated tedious aspects of our daily lives and removed the mundane periods of waiting in queues and endless searching so that we can operate much more efficiently than we did 20 years ago. As an RPA analyst, you're not there to bring the big ideas. Solutions, in fact, come from the subject matter experts and the end users, because no one knows the process better than they do. They need to be deeply involved in designing the change, instead of the change being enforced on them. As consultant and analyst, you're there to understand their pains, identify their requirements and use your knowledge of process automation and process streamlining, like Lean Six Sigma, to guide and support them in designing digital assistance that meets their needs and business objectives. We've worked in aerospace, defence, energy, healthcare, accounting and finance, to help business leaders improve their team's productivity. And we found that to have productivity, you need two things, smooth processes and motivated teams. As an RPA analyst, you'll be able to see the massive impact you make on your business and how your solutions improve the lives of staff members by removing frustrating and mundane tasks nobody wants to do and restoring a good work-life balance for many. In small teams, the RPA lead consultant analyst may be asked to do some or all of these things. Help develop a centre of excellence for ensuring the use of RPA best practices across the business. This means creating and ensuring the use of standardised tools, templates, best practices and quality assurance measures. This may include running governance meetings. Be an evangelist for RPA. Educate and upskill staff teams on RPA and lean thinking techniques to improve the process and get teams excited about the technology. This might include running lean and RPA lunch and learns to ensure teams are not just bought in, but know how to get involved in identifying, assessing and redesigning their own processes. Identifying and assessing automation opportunities. By gathering and analysing requirements, writing up use cases and test plans. Leading workshops with stakeholders and process experts through root cause or solution design workshops. As a good analyst, you'll need to have enough knowledge of the RPA platforms to at least be able to build a basic automated process yourself. This is so you can accurately advise businesses on what is and what isn't possible and effectively communicate with developers. Developing an implementation plan for RPA, as well as suggesting a roadmap for bringing in other automation. This could include scripts, macros, other customizable or off-the-shelf AI tools, such as OCR, 
NLP, or machine learning. Work closely with subject matter experts to document the as-is process, maps and procedures, and run process redesign exercises for the to-be solution. Record users executing processes and create keystroke documents for the process definition document, the PDD. Support the user acceptance testing and evaluation of automated processes. This would involve making bug logs for the developer to address. One final point. In some cases, you may also need to take on the project manager role to ensure you and your team achieve objectives and meet deadlines.